Hey guys, welcome back to the Shed Sessions. This is Trav and I'm Simon. It's been a while, but we're bringing you something special today. We're actually going to be talking about Aussie 70s music. So Trav, where do we start with the 70s music? Alright, well, look, firstly, uh, Aussie bands were taking a lot from uh, American and British music uh, of that time. Predominantly the Beatles and Stones and Elvis. The likes of these kinds of people. Um, blues music was a big thing over here in Australia, um, which led into, I suppose, psych music, surf rock, punk rock, all sorts. Um, but yeah, we're going to start with, uh, I think, blues music, eh? What do you reckon? Well, we're going to talk about this first, this uh, beautiful record right here. Yeah, all right. Boogie. Well, yeah. Boogie. Australian blues, R&B and heavy rock from the 70s. So, I mean, this is just a compilation album, but this basically has everybody on it, you know, who, who we're going to be talking about. I mean, we're not even going to break down half of these, but, um, yeah, this is just a good record of all the good artists and good songs that came out of the time. Um, so, yeah, this is a good one to check out, by awesome. all means. So, um, you mentioned uh, blues. So let's start, mm. let's I guess start with that. Who would you recommend to listen to if we're interested in the 70s Aussie scene? Yeah, all right. Well, I'll just pull some records so we can have a bit of a flick and right. see what we got. So Chain was definitely a good one. I'll pull some Chain. We've got Dave Hull. And this one, yeah, so Matt Taylor. All right. All right. Let me squeeze on in back here. So, um, all right, let's start off here with uh, Chain. So let's move this one out of the way. I'll put these down here for a minute. All right. So we'll start with Chain. I'll put that one there so you can see. Um, look, I think Chain was probably more one of the successful blues bands that ended up coming in, out of Australia. Um, and longer, longer standing blues bands. Um, Phil Manning and Matt Taylor being the main force behind the band. Um, and yeah, I mean, look, they've put out some great albums, so I've seen them live. Um, yeah, these guys are great. So that also reminds me they've got some really good harmonica playing in there as well, so. Definitely, well, look, that cover says it all right there. So that's, this is uh, the best of. There you go, um, so that's a marine band. So mm. one of the ones that I've got as well. Yeah. Awesome, awesome harmonica. Yeah, Matt Taylor played those, definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, <sighs> Judgment, that's a great song, especially with the harp in that. You've got Black and Blue was one of their biggest hits. Um, Snatch It Back and Hold It. Oh, it's just some great ones in here. Blow and D. Yeah, it's great, great stuff. And uh, while we're still on Matt Taylor, I'll just show you this one real quick. I definitely think you should check this one out. Uh, Matt Taylor, the old and new intuitive. Um, mostly, Phil Manning's still on this one, but um, mostly just because it goes, ventures into a bit more of a psychedelic, oh, I don't even, I wouldn't even know, like it's... Uh, it's just a thing of its own. Yeah, it's its own journey. It's a great album. It's a journey album almost is what it, how I feel about it. Awesome. Um, yeah. So, so that will kind of link us to a little bit more of like uh, rock and guitar playing as well. Who would you recommend for someone that's passionate about guitars and stuff like that, or you know? Um, well, guitar playing. Um, well, I didn't show this one either just yet. I mean, obviously from Chain, Phil Manning was a killer guitar player. You know, yeah. um, as far as blues players, locally here in Perth, Dave Hole. He's been an, an absolute Perth. legend, you know. Perth guy. Um, slide player. I mean, right on the cover there, he's playing a three, four, five for any guitar players. You know, that's that's the shit. Um, yeah, Dave Hole's a great player. But um, I'll just pull a couple more. Uh, so let's go with. Uh, Carvis Jude. Uh, 
One of you. Me. And some tam shot, I suppose. Let's go with this here. Oh, and lobby, of course. So, guitar players. Lobby Lloyd, let's talk him for starters. Um, and the coloured balls. These guys were, I suppose, on the verge of like punk, hard rock, um, blues rock kind of vibe. But um, definitely uh, Lobby Lloyd, just killer guitar player. Really did change the game a bit with, with his style. Um, yeah, and this is a great, great record to showcase that. Um, yeah, cool. So that links us to a little bit more of a like a surf rock type of feel. Mm. Um, so, what would you recommend on a surf rock style? I, I heard that that was very big in the seventies, wasn't it? Well, Aussies, you know, we all love the ocean, yeah. and um, yeah, surfing's a big culture here in Australia. Still is, so as you know, yeah. we love surfing. Um, and yeah, surf music was, it was a, is a thing. So. Um, Let's, I'll start off with Morning of the Earth. So, yeah, you wanna grab, I'll put that on there. Okay, so Morning of the Earth. I'll pull this one out for you, this is a great. So that's the front cover there. Um, and I'll just open it up for you so you can see, it's just pretty cool. Um, basically, awesome. yeah. Basically, uh, this, this was um, the soundtrack to one of the first Aussie surf films that came out, and um, it's yeah, a comp. Pretty good. Yeah, good, good movie. Yeah, definitely a good watch. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so basically, it was, like I said, it was a compilation album, um, and there's some great bands that, that played on this on this record, um, and one of them in particular, which we'll talk about here, is Tamam Shad. Well, for me in particular, this this band definitely hit me um, and inspired me a lot. So uh, this band here, Tamam Shad, um, and this this uh, album Evolution was recorded live. Actually, um, same thing for <coughs> a film, I believe. Um, this is just mind mind blowing. Like the changes this goes through. From a great, and this is going into guitar players as well. There's some good guitar playing on here. Um, yeah, these guys definitely set the scene for almost a psych, psych rock, surf rock sort of vibe. Mm. Um, so that would link us through to a little bit more of a, of a psych rock as well. Yeah, 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 cool. de yeah, definitely. Yeah, leads us into psych rock. So. Um, I was just going to pick some songs off this real quick for people to check out. I think Lady Sunshine was definitely, and Mr. Strange are two great songs. Mm. Um, yeah, I know Mr. Strange, that's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it's a good song, eh? Um, yeah, again, this, this is, yeah, top stuff. So, yeah, psych music. Oh, and last of all, yeah, so hang on a second. So, let's, before we jump the gun here, all linking with surf, surf rock, guitar players. This band here, Carvis Jute, this this is a reissue, you can get your hands on originals pretty pretty hard, but um this band is absolutely epic. Um very blues rock, psych rock, the whole lot, you know, that these guys were doing it all. But the artwork um, looks pretty sick as well. Yeah, the album cover's killer, isn't it? Mm. And uh, I believe it's uh some of the blokes out of Tamam Shad, I believe the drummer and uh, Tim Gaze, um the guitar player went on to play in uh, Carvis Jute as well. So there's a bit of a link there with these guys, which a lot of bands were doing that in the, in the, in the day and I guess still do that now. So um, yeah, so to finish off things, we'll go into that psych rock thing. And you know, a lot of these bands were trying to do a psych thing as well. You know, that was the, yeah. that was the that time. Was the era. Yeah. Um, but this band here, this is a standout, McPhee. So again, crazy artwork on these covers, but um, yeah, McPhee, I don't know if this was an exact copy of the Spooky Tooth album. There's a Spooky Tooth album that is almost a very similar thing to this. Same songs, or I don't know what's going on here, but there's some cover, cover songs on here, some of their own songs. 
Um, but killer female vocals, and this is just a journey a journey album. This thing's crazy. They do a cover. Uh, what is it? Um, Southern Man, which I think was a Neil Young song. Um, I am the Walrus, which is a Beatles one. That that's a killer cover of that of that song. Really psyched out. It even says so, it on the front, doesn't it? it yeah. It all. Yeah. So one of the rarest albums from Australia, originally released in 1971. Yeah. Acid rock, prog, psych, jammy club feel. So yeah, yeah. There you go. There. Wild covers of Spooky Tooth, Beatles, Neil Young, plus a couple of killer originals. So there you go. That's it. Yeah. These guys are killer. Um, and yeah, lastly, uh, just while, while I remember, there's some other guys um, in the in Aussie music scene who, you know, all in this thing that you should be checking out. Billy Thorpe, um, and also jump onto the Sunbury Festivals, which was like a Aussie version of the uh, Woodstock, you know, 69 Woodstock Festival. So Sunbury's a great one to check out. There's some live albums of that as well, which I haven't got, but... And the many more artists that exist, there's millions. Yeah. So yeah, this is just lot. touching the absolute surface, you know. So, yeah. That's it, guys. So I hope you guys had uh, some good recommendations. Um, if you guys got any questions about any of the records that we ta talked about or any of the artists that we talked about, we you know, more than happy to dive more into it. That's right. And if you got any recommendations for us or anyone that we should be checking out, yeah. send them through. Yeah. And um, yeah. Hopefully you, you you know you learned something today and enjoy listening to the good music. Keep it rocking. That's it. Keep up the good times. All right. All right, guys. See, See you on the next one.